Hey there, and welcome back to Trainwreck, an educational monster train series where you watch me struggle at around 200 pack shards. This is attempt number three at this intro. My voice just gave out on the first one, and I sounded like some burbling mass on the second one, so I needed to do some <laughs> speaking exercises. I, I used to do them a lot more often, admittedly. I used to do them before every single episode I recorded. Nowadays, I kind of, I've gotten a little out of the habit because I can usually just tell, but I suppose this particular morning I really needed it. We're good now though, everything's fine, so nothing's wrong. You're not gonna notice any problems whatsoever. Anyway, we are playing Monster Train. Yeah, of course we are. It's what we do. And it's Trainwreck. I'm not terribly proud of our previous episode. You know, I don't... Well, part of it was I could have made up the difference if I had noticed it like six rings earlier. But we ended up on, I think it was 185 shards. I think we obviously had a victory in our bag. But I just needed to anticipate that my lack of my lack of magic power spells was going to cause me issues right there was a crushing demise that i took when i could have taken a subsuming blade and i didn't anticipate that both of the last temples would mess me over right they both had plus 30s and 10 and piercings 100 percent magic power upgrades it's very unlikely to see that I mean, I guess it's what, like one third times, what is that? Four times, I suppose. So it's not that unlikely when you think about it. One third raised to the fourth power is something along those lines. But I'm actually going to run the math now because I'm curious. Cool. So that has a 1% chance of happening, which is not that unlikely, I suppose. It's going to happen one out of 100 times. But. Anyway, we got got on the shard side, couldn't reach 100, and then because I would, what happened, yeah, man, I'm not happy about it. I got a little flustered on the end, and I made, we won anyway, and it didn't matter, but in hindsight, I quickly identified a much stronger choice that I could have done for the duping and the general approach to the run out of ring eight. I also created a little strange challenge with combustible wax leading into a burnout one not being burnout one instead being burnout four problem you know these are i call these rookie mistakes because i should know better but at the point that i was at i did feel confident enough that it didn't matter so i definitely didn't think very well anyway not a great episode you can skip that one if you're interested in it uh, or you can go watch it and see me struggle. I don't know. Sure, why not? Anyway, that's about as much as we've got there. I'm done with this. I mean, the, the main line there was actually pretty okay, right? We had a bounty stalker that saved the day. That ended up with a multi-strike and an endless. We had a waxer snuffer pretty early on. And there was a really, it was a really cool, um, what's it called? What's that card called? It's not the spike driver colony it's the other one who can even say which one it was maybe this guy yeah here we go automatic rail spike it was a very cool automatic rail spike if you actually just look at this end state it actually looks pretty powerful and it was in truth but you can see like combustible wax into the bounty stalker with a minus what i should have done is put the elder multi-strike in this and just made a second one of these and then just won the run with that but you know fair enough uh, instead i opted to make Baron a little stronger, even though I wasn't going to dupe him. But, but yeah, you can see how this would be improved. Not a terrible run, admittedly, but you know, I hold myself to pretty high standards. I suppose that's the main issue here. But we're moving on to Rector. I think the only thing I'll comment on with Rector is I would kind of like a not super big brain run right now. Yeah, you know, something that's not dark calling, maybe. I'd be down for some real burnout slam or even a harvest run with a strong backline would be fun. But anyway, that's all I've got for you. We're moving on. So as always, do like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And let's see what we get shown today. Yeah, Rector's one of my favorite champions. I think he's very powerful. Let's click the play button and see what we get. Hiya. 
All right, hope you're all doing well today. I'm doing okay. Nothing too terrible to report. Been, honestly, I'm, it's, I tried, I woke up and have been just kind of lingering and listening to music. This is something that I've been doing a lot lately. Just, just truly vibing. Sometimes I multitask and I'm, like, I'm playing a game while also listening to music. Right now I've just been like turning on YouTube, going to a very specific, very, a very synth wave playlist and then just kind of like cruising and just jamming it's very weird i don't normally have i don't normally draw enjoyment from sitting around doing nothing like that but man it's been good lately so i i guess it's all right anyway today we are fighting explosive sigil daedalus this is spell shield spell shield arcus chase seraph i don't i don't know if i mentioned it but we are default melting default stygian so not a terrible combo, but not awful. You know, it's not bad. It's not great. I don't know. It's somewhere in the middle. It, you know, if you go in cans, it's kind of annoying because your other starting cards aren't in cans. So there's that. But there's a lot of things that work here, too. You can make the sweepers fine. So starting cards are molded, energy siphon, resin removal, all excellent. Always happy to have resin removal. Molded is amazing. I truly love molded. And then energy siphon is also here it does very little right now but that's okay maybe we can do something with it most likely i just remove them but yeah all right temples today two three six eight four temples fine i'm happy about that acceptable dupe on eight is on steel side nothing special steel and magic on seven both okay i think the steel shop is marginally better thanks to the vortex steel and magic on six Cave on steel side, Horde on magic side, no removals whatsoever. I don't mind because getting to double both shops is always a feels good moment. You have a lot of choices here, and as long as none of them are bad, it's wor it's fine. Like you're, you're okay with it. Removal dupe on five with money. There is a trinket shop with money in the middle, though. The trinket shop's pretty good, actually. Horde in a cave. If you can use it, then... Yeah, if we have the money to take advantage of it, that's pretty strong. Not as good in this particular clan combo, but you never know. There are some high rolls, so. Steel Shop with Vortex and Stygian Banner on four. It's nice, much better than the other side. Probably going to that Steel Shop. Double Magic's early. Remnant Banner on three with the Magic Shop. Steel Shop on two has a Remnant Banner. Very Remnant heavy line that I'm looking at here. There is a Stygian Banner if I want to go to a Magic Shop, but I would need really strong stuff to upgrade. I guess molded with holdover is not bad, but we'll see. Faulty loader, Pyrestone housing. Pyrestone housing is one of those relics that's good-ish. It's a great relic, but you really want something that does something better in the early game. This is so do nothing right now, and it's very contingent on finding good upgrades it's a great example of a relic that's nice if you already have a multi-strike plus something else defensive in your unit and you're like oh sweet i can add quick to it now or whatever you know that's that's a nice situation to be in it's a really bad situation to take this when you have none of those upgrades and you haven't even looked at your shops yet because they could all be just bad and if they're all bad then just adding a bunch of plus 25s to your dps character is not that good right you're just like, all right well i guess my backline sucks anyway so is this really worth it here? Don't know. It's competing with Faulty Loader. Faulty Loader is okay at best. I think I'm going to take the Faulty Loader. This will provide a lot of value if we end up on the Burnout Rector line. But also I can use this to get going and get rid of some very scary waves throughout the run. So I think I'm going to take this. Yeah, I'm going to go Faulty Loader here. I could see myself arguing my way into Pyrestone Housing there, but yeah. Dark Calling versus Burnout. I'm actually okay with Burnout because if I play everything out, I have a pretty good shot at hitting a Molded, and I think that's cool. We're going to grab the Horde here. Early Capricious Reflection is really good. There's a Split Anvil, Improved Firebox. Both of these are okay. I could find use in these, but for what I have right now, Capricious Reflection early game is just awesome. Big fan of that. It's something that will betray you sometimes, but will not always betray you. I definitely take a truck. I'm not going to take this invasion trial. And the reason is I take a bunch of damage and I probably lose the collector for it. 
right? I have no access to backline, so there's no world I get the collector with this. And I'd rather have the chance of a collector, you know? Yeah, because here we can now, now we just kind of do this, and it's like, all right, great. Cool. Hey, look, we got the collector. Amazing news. Yeah, easy. Cool. Now, I will lose Rector, and that will kind of suck. The only thing I have to keep in mind is that I just need to play everything out. The reason that matters is so that my redraws hit the moldeds in time. Although, really, I bottom decked both of them, so I guess we're actually just a genius, right? Yeah, actually, the game is just super free and easy. We already win. <laughs> Thank you, Rector. Very cool. All right, good job. Yeah, we get the collector. I'm so I'm 25 gold in the pit, but at the same time, we're, we were guaranteed to get that collector, and it's just a much safer line, in my opinion. Okay, great. So we actually just see holdover on molded immediately, which is an uh, absurd high roll. Absolutely, we're gonna click that. Wow. All right. Holdover Titans gratitude minus one ice tornado is actually not bad. Endless Glacial Seal. What? He's here. I actually think minus one Ice Tornado is great. This is a good example of a card that I never take at three energy because it's really hard to justify. But at two energy, you're looking at it and you go, all right. I mean, I would pay. It's basically kind of just like a little less predictable of a Crystallis that I can hold on to. So sure, that seems reasonable. Now I definitely don't need the magic shop. I, I probably can just remove the other moldeds now because I already have the holdover. Incredible. Let's go to the remnant banner and see what we hit. Multi-strike in the shop. Amazing. Cool. Quick on a lady of the house. Yeah, absolutely. And then I'm just going to buy the multi-strike for her and she's doing fine. Cool. Now I just need to find infusion stuff. I am, ooh, sketch is gross. Cleansing water, not bad. I have the resin removal, though. I'm going to take this memorial fund. There's a ton of units that I can sack here. This will represent a lot of value. Cool, so now I just have a quick multi-unit already. Pretty cool. I can take the retribution here. Fun. Yeah, now you just go, just drop these goons downstairs, and we just crush everything, pretty much. So that's cool. bunch of train steward nonsense coming out all good bonk 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 bunch of bonks everything burns out but I apparently just high roll all of my yeah crazy high roll everything pretty much cool I would like my units to die is kind of an interesting circumstance here so let's reform Rector wins this combat. Let's take the lady and try to sack for health here and play her upstairs. Yeah, I'm trying to get health here, right? She wins this, right? I think so. Yeah. Okay, she doesn't exactly win this. Math. Buddy, it's fine. We take a little bit of damage, and I did this specifically to exchange for health, right? I take a good chunk, 20 damage here. I could have maybe played that out differently, but I really wanted the money early. You could maybe argue a bunch of things about that. I don't know how to say how to say it one way or the other. I could have saved that health, obviously, by just playing bottom floor with, like, Rector or something, or elevating her. She would have killed everything, but I'd be down, like, 50 gold. I don't know. Tough to say. I'm going to take Permafrost Hallow Drippings here. That seems good to me. Endless Mollusk Mage. Endless Crypt Builder. I mean, Holdover Crypt Builder, Holdover Energy Siphon. What ridiculous upgrades to roll. Skip this. I don't want it. I don't know. We're fine on health. I'm not worried about this. Magic Shop here would be pretty good. I would like to look for an infusion on the Remnant Banner side, so let's do this. Paraffin Enforcer would be great. I definitely want a minus one in the Molded. 100%. No Holdover, specifically. 
Yeah, Paraffin Enforcer. Incredible. And then we go in here and we do that infusion right away. And we're quite pleased about this. This is a very ridiculously powerful floor now. I make more copies of that and we chill. I do think, I mean like Tenon Piercing on Ice Tornado is not bad. But I also don't mind making Ice Tornado free. That's pretty cool. Huh. I'll have to think about that. If we got an X5, I would actually just do an X1 on the lady here for sure. There's nothing that's powerful enough that I want to, you know, fully upgrade it and then send it on this. Double stack, no thank you. Reroll this. 20 consume is excellent on a frozen lance. I'm going to save this minus one, I think. Yeah, let's take the cape. We already have the X1 that we would go with. What is my nexus spike here? I don't have a good one, that's for sure. So I think I'm going to use this to purge some energy siphons. Sure. Not amazing. We don't have great cards at this point, so that's fine. I think I'm going to make Ice Tornado free. This is such a low-impact choice, but I think I do it anyway. I need to take shards. Actually, you know... 20 damage three times, even if it's free, is kind of garbage. I would rather it be 30 damage three times at two energy. I'm going to take the 10 in piercing here. And I think we move on from this position. This minus one, I can just put in resin removal because I always want resin removal. And I don't really need money for anything, but I don't know. Maybe we see like a shark and we go for an endless shark business. I do think this is the straightforward run from this position. We just remove stuff and then make another couple copies of that lady. And I'm pretty confident that just crushes everything. Like just play bottom floor. It does not matter. Anything we shoot. I mean, this is excellent, right? We just pummel him with 50 something damage already. Get rid of his spikes because get a com get completely got loser. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, blow up my unit actually, please. Thank you. I would like money. Amazing. And then we just keep reforming these goons because there's no reason not to, right? I could hollow drippings here, but I would actually prefer my units kind of pass away. Which is fine, I think. The bomb is good. Blow up my guy. Yeah, cool. Great work. Cool. Now, she obviously benefits from... That was a pretty good hit. I got that spell weakness on him. Nice. I could have maybe done a little better, but it's all good. I mean, at this point, you just bring back Rector, right? And stick him in front. I do think I would rather keep her rage going. So let's take the burnout extension here. Go ahead and do that. I'm going to pop this fella. And we put 67 into the boss as a result. I'm good with it. Earning a bunch of money too, which is nice. Shoot my train steward, please. Thank you. Bring back a dreg. I'm going to actually put this dreg seriously on the floor now, I think. Maybe. Nah, play him upstairs. It's all good. Burn this card. I'm not going to play that train steward because there's. Just... I want to be able to elevate my floor in a meaningful way. Cool. We win. We manage to get rid of all those purge copies as well, and we get a cool drag down on the floor, which obviously crushes. Great job. Honestly, this—I mean, this is going to look really strong really fast. Did I need to take that 20 damage for some health? I'm not sure, but I'm not mad about it. Is the thing. Anyway, minus one Ancient Synergy is kind of weak here. I don't have a lot of spells thanks to my Drag Opener. Multi-Striking Devourer of Death is among the most hilarious things I think I've seen in recent history. We've just seen so many big upgrades. I actually think I'm going to instead grab a 20 Consume Ice Empire. That's a good blast, right? It's a really good blast. Happy to have it. Just card goes away, but it's fine. Titan Sentry. Do I even need this? I just make as many, I just make three or something copies of this lady and go hard. This would be interesting if I had a Pyrestone housing, right? Instead of the faulty loader, but I do think this helps a lot. Huh. 
I mean, Titan Center is pretty good, right? The problem is that if I end up going into the the self-infused line and I find the Endless, it's like, okay. But I need the remaining two dupes for my ladies, 100%. I think with Quick, we're okay with this. I think we skip here, actually. Yeah. I'm going to be looking for spells that I think can clear backlines here is the way I would describe it. We're going to need space eventually, but I think for now I can just take card draw. When do I do this dupe? Ring five. I mean, I think it actually is space right now because I can do Rector plus two ladies as early as ring five, which is amazing. I'm going to go ahead and go to the left. I want to cut units. I guess I'll look at the steel shop and see what I missed. Yeah, I missed the second multi-strike on my lady, which is a pretty huge whiff. But at the same time, you can never predict it, in my opinion. I could take a large stone called Kalia or a rage fury stone guard of the unnamed. No, I'm going to sell those. That's okay. I'm not mad about it. This is one of those things where it's like I could just as easily have seen bad shops here. That could have been a large stone repeatedly. It's easy to get in the habit of thinking about, well, I, what did I miss? Hindsight, right? You Because I know what I have now, but I'm not mad about it. I think we still win anyway. I just need a third lady, and I need to assemble the squad, pretty much. I'll be real. I think Accumulator is... It doesn't take much on this Harvest Pivot for this guy to come out ahead. It, I mean, and offensively, yes. Right? The, it takes a lot of Harvest to get that 30 health, that 30 damage back. But health-wise, it's pretty darn good. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, it's tough to say, but I actually like the accumulator for purposes of a relentless pivot so that he's a little, he's a little more durable and his damage is not as important. Let's go ahead and take the accumulator pivot. Kind of bizarre, but I'll take it. I do have to invest a lot in... What is the word I'm looking for? Upgrades here. Not upgrades, you know the temple stuff i'm gonna spell chain the hallow drippings just so that i actually reach 200 shards this is also a 10 burnout burst which is very good for my relentless plan so it's not amazing but i'll take it it's essentially a double stack right that just basically right ice empire i would have loved the tendon piercing in this without the consume but you know fair I could just do random infusions too, right? I get 50 here, 50 here. I make it there with nothing else. Yeah, all right, fine. We move on, I suppose. I'm actually going to pay to remove two train stewards as well. We have the dregs if we need to do a bunch of self-infused nonsense. Cool. I'm good with this. We move on. 80 shards is fine in a ring four. We're playing bottom floor anyway, so no big deal. Faulty Loader lets us immediately pop off in kind of a big way. So you just airdrop them in and clear everything. I actually, I mean, just drop the resin removal here and we kill the whole floor. Great, and I get to hold on to the ice tornado. Awesome, actually. Incredible news. Cool, we clear that floor. Seems good. Good. Molded. I leak one damage here. Not much I really can do about it, thanks to the might that is... Ah, spell shield. It is what it is. We take another one damage later. We are at least clearing out the big guys here, which is fine. I have the mold over into Rector here, which is good. Uh, other important things, however, is I can drop in double dregs here, which gain a significant amount of damage here as well. I actually get a kill upstairs, which is cool as well. Nice about that. I don't have to burn the hollow drippings quite yet. I'm probably going to do that pretty soon. Mold over, which brings back a dreg of import here. Okay, I take some damage here, and I'm not mad about it. I do think this is, because of the rage, we're going to go ahead and hallow drippings, hallow drippings downstairs. 
and then I take 13, it looks like. It's not ideal, but fine. We should crush on bottom floor. Yeah, it was easy. Never a doubt in my mind. Cool, got it. Yeah, and then this gets even better once we have second lady instead of those dregs in the back. So 14 damage in total, it's okay. Permafrost Wicked Blaze is kind of sick. It's one of those cards that's nice to have. It's a power play, kind of. The Moldover doing most of the heavy lifting, but at the same time, getting a plus 10 damage on your guy when you bring it back is pretty good. Permafrost is the only real reason I'm considering this. I think I'll grab it. Hold over Memento Mori, remove consume memories of the Melted Ridiculous, but all good. Double stack Guardian's Amulet. Minus one Frenzied Swarm. I don't think I need these. I have Quick already. The days is not important. Ice Storm is a good card. I should, I'm should. i actually going to grab Ice Storm because it takes a plus 30 or a 10 in Piercing decently well, even though the Permafrost doesn't help me here. Go left. Removal dupe time. Immediately dupe the Lady. Very important. Take money. Take removals. The removals here are going to, I guess, be Frozen Lance because these cards are actually, it's Energy Siphon and Frozen Lance. They're so low impact. I want to keep pretty much all of my dregs because they represent money and I have so many reforms that it doesn't matter. Heaven Seal is unlikely to pay out a relic I care about and is likely to do a bunch of damage to me. So let's just not take that. Obviously, we move very quickly. Bottom floor is no problem, but you got to be careful about stuff like this, right? I get drag for collector. I'm going to airdrop in the other lady. We kill everything as a result. Click the molded. Okay. It's pretty decent so far. I'm honestly okay just dropping the hollow drippings into this floor right now. And then playing out a bunch of other stuff. We hold on to my permafrost until I need them. I mean, this seems strong, right? Or maybe not terribly strong, but at least strong enough. Bring back goons. Maybe we super... I guess I'm way stronger than I expected. We just blast this guy. Yeah, never mind. The game is actually super easy. Alright, well, I definitely could have taken the freaking trial. Good grief. I, the thing is, I was expecting more aggressive upgrades. Anyway, here's Battle Votivary if you really want to go in. Another Permafrost, Wicked Blaze. I could have gotten a free relic there, essentially, but I didn't. It's fine. Another Remove Consume Memories of the Melted Ridiculous. Holdover Preserve, another Double Stack, Guardian's Amulet, another Frenzied Swarm, this time with Double Stack in it. I guess I don't mind Double Stack. I have a couple Permafrosts that become a little less valuable because of that, but... I just reform my units. I don't know, this is fine, right? I just skip this, it's okay. Just reform. Going left, not that important. So we'll go right and look at the magic shop here. I think that's fine. The horde here says, Kinstone Totem, Melting Spout. Don't even have a tomb. I don't have any discards. I guess, I, I mean, I guess this could have been Frenzied Swarm. These are both dead to me, so I'm going to skip for money, I guess. Oh, you know, I'll click the Kinstone Totem because I could see a deep offering. That's at least something. Bell chain, heck, I don't know. Intrinsic, okay. Sure. None of these are particularly good. I think I am gonna have to do some rando infusions of things. 20 consume a frozen lance, for sure. Minus one here, I can actually, I guess, just put in Wicked Blaze. Maybe, sure, why not? We're in this very bizarre state where I have kind of nothing to do and we're cruising off the back of just like a very straightforward line. It's very interesting. I need to take upgrades. So I think this is as dumb as self-infused drag here. 
Do I ever go space space so I can get another guy on the floor? Maybe. I mean, what, 145, 165. I definitely have to take stuff. Spell chain is just not good here, but I guess I could spell chain resin removal. I actually think that's a bad decision. Let's intrinsic the wicked blaze. So even in the worst of draw orders, I have one of these accessible, I suppose. That should be okay. Part of this is also capricious reflection being capricious, as it were. You know? Crazy. I mean, I guess I... What do, what do I take? 140? I, if I take 50 coming up, I can still make it if I don't take this spell chain. It just seems so low impact. I also have a ridiculous amount of money and nothing really to do with it. I could buy removals, I guess. I really need to draft stuff that does something for me, right? I'm just kind of relying too much on ladies to carry this, and they're going to fall off a cliff pretty quickly here, I think. I guess I could buy a removal on a molded. I don't, I'm not going to have that many units after I do these self-infuses, so sure. I'll do that. I'll actually cut the other molded, I'm pretty sure, as well. Just have the holdover friend. I want to leave the Ice Storm's slot open for a plus 30 down the road, or a Tenon Piercing. Ice Empire will also be there, I suppose. I'm not putting a minus one in a Frozen Lance. You can't pay me to do it, so I guess I don't take it. I could always remove Consume the Ice Empire to pay two Ember for a really bad card. <laughs> That's fair. This is a strange one, I'll admit, but I think we just move on. This feels really too fast because of how easy these decisions are. Thanks largely to Capricious Reflection just fully popping off, but... Alright, play bottom floor, I guess. Sure. Hit the enemy. Oh, I denied myself rage. Look at me, I'm being bad. That's a bummer. Cool. I have done it. I have achieved transcendence, I suppose. Fair enough. Just a whole bunch of permafrost weird garbage here. Am I going to keep this floor afloat or am I going to let them burn out? I think I'm going to straight up let them burn out here. Play some dregs up here. Just get them out. I should hold over the molded. I guess I'll play... I mean, don't play Ice Tornado, right? There's no reason to. I have too many permafrost cards. I guess I only draw five right now so I can just hold on to this. I'll let them die. It's fine. Him getting reformed is not a bad thing for me. Bring back the Rector. Sure, he's chilling. Oh, resin removal. I want to body the man. All right, so the plan here is to hallow drippings for sure here. And then... I think it's absolutely important. Let's... Assume that, let Ice Tornado and Wicked Blaze go to hell. Ice Storm doesn't matter. Let's just click the resin removal because it gets rid of all of his stealth and his spell shield, which is ridiculously powerful. Now I can just hit him with whatever the heck I feel like. It's true. Not my rally shard, no. I'm gonna hit him with the Ice Tornado. It seems better than the alternatives. I don't feel like redrawing this drag, so I just want to play him upstairs, it's fine. Could have actually played the resin removal on that, I'm pretty sure, but it's okay. Are we winning? I think we are. Burn the Ice Empire to get it out of here. Play the Molded, I'll take back Rando drag number whatever. I think we're winning. My guy's got 135 health. He's doing pretty okay, so I could certainly imagine this going worse. The Harvests have put his health up to a respectable level. I guess we'll hit him with the Ice Tornado at the upstairs for an extra 90. Sure, why not? Is this enough? Yeah, I guess this just crushes 140 Shard Arcus. Sure, alright. Fair enough, Monster Train. Fair enough. Hada! One damage five times. Yeah, I guess it gets there. It's just kind of crazy to see. 
The run doesn't seem that hard, but I think it'll get worse. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and click Siren Song. That way I can daze Divinity in a respectable fashion. Yes, just do that. Amazing. Now, do I just go in on space? Because what that lets me do is put a dreg to tank and stuff, which is actually pretty awesome. I like the idea of fitting a dreg on this floor. It's more impactful than the draw because my cards kind of are pointless. Yeah, I think I do. Just go in on space here. Crazy double space take. I honestly would be happy if we see a space relic from the stupid cave as well. The magic shop is still more impactful than the steel shop? Maybe? I'm gonna go to the steel shop because... I don't know, if I see a multi-strike, I think I would put it in a dreg right now. I skipped one earlier, I think maybe that was a mistake. What a strange world. Mark of an Exile is sick. I'll take that 50, that like 20 something health here. That's excellent. I'm extremely pleased about that. Yeah, we'll take that, sure. I'm gonna remove two Frozen Lances because they're bad cards and I don't want them. We'll see what this shop has. Yeah, I mean, straight up, I will give this Dreg multi-strike. He slots onto the floor in a mega way. And I'm gonna re-roll this. <laughs> I could give him quick too, kind of hilariously. He is going, I mean, this this actually leads me to think I should play bottom floor divinity, right? And then we use Rector to face tank. What a ridiculous unit. Am I gonna have a quick multi dreg dreg? A dreg egg? <laughs> this is so ridiculous, I don't even know what to say. I was originally looking at this and thinking, you know, I mean, the reason I'm considering this is... Now, I don't have to do this, actually. I have a... I'm coming up on another steel shop. What if I see another multi-strike? All right, you got me. I'll be real with you. I think Harvest 2 is 100% correct here. Plus 10 health per kill. And then a lot of things die on that floor. And I also have the Mark of an Exile. I think it's Accumulator 2 here for sure. Wild. What a wild world we live in. I think the plan is go left, take as much as we can from the temple, maybe dupe the burnout extender we have. It's going to depend a little bit on what we see at the temple. And intrinsic on that siren song means I might dupe that and then just play six days out the gate. That's pretty reasonable. I'm not going to take the quick, if only because it could just be a multi-strike later, which would be even better, and we move on from here. Ridiculous. I have 19 cards in my deck. I still draw everything in four turns. Ancient Hate is annoying, kind of. I still have this garbage ice storm, just in case I get a plus 30 in this next temple, but I really don't have spells, so I'm not mad about it. I don't think I play bottom floor here. I think we play top floor and we chill. Yeah, I think so. Don't play this other drag. Burn this ice empire. They have spell shield. Doesn't matter. I don't want to have the drag steal here is the thing. Incredible. Second lady drops in. A big reason I'm choosing to play it this way is I desperately want to make sure that we get the maximum scaling on my floor. And maybe I see the multi striking drag in time. Sack a guy downstairs. We're going to hold on to everything else for now. Yeah, we see multi-striking drag now as well, which does a huge amount of value here. We do take hits. Unfortunately. Yeah, this first wave is going to pummel us for, what is this? 10 plus a lot. It's like 40 damage. Bummer. Yeah, it's like straight up 40 damage here. No, that's 30. Math. Hard. I'm going to reform Rector on this one. He gets big man returns. And then we do click the molded because we should. I want to sacrifice units if at all possible. And then this is now the moment where I drop the Hallow Drippings. Yeah, we just kind of go in on this. And I think we come out ahead. 
cool, seems good. The multi-striking drag is actually doing a lot of good for us, kind of incredibly. I don't know what I expected, but it wasn't that. Sure, seems good to me. We hold it together from here. Excellent. Cutting all of the rage of the boss is a pretty good play, huh? I'm a big fan of that. Let's sack some units down here. Nothing fancy to say about it. And we just farming money on these guys, pretty much. I still would happily take some kind of plan that helps my spells be a little more impactful here. Yeah, it would be nice, I'll tell you that much, but I think it's okay. Anyway, click the ice tornado here, and we're chilling. Yeah, cool. It's good. Honestly, multi-striking drag doing huge work here in kind of an unbelievable fashion. We take 30 because we're just a little bit slow, but it's not too bad. Holdover mortal entrapment is strange, but I don't hate it. I have the siren song to answer this. I don't need Votivary. I think we skip there. Man, cards have just not been good. A bunch of just like, how many Guardians amulets have I seen on this run? Where are my other uncommon Stygian cards, right? Like, what what is happening here? Honestly, though, Crystalline Seeds with a Remove Consume is not the worst card I've seen. It's actually pretty reasonable. I'm going to take it. This is stupid, but I'm going to take it. I, I need something that has a backline access element, right? Is kind of the big part. I need something there. In can't armor too. Another large stone, definitely not. All right, well, we get the quick again, as it turns out. I don't actually think I want the quick. I think I'm going to go ahead and give it a plus 25 instead and be okay with that. Fine. Temple today says spell chain again. No intrinsic, but a spell chain siren song is pretty cool. We'll click that, I guess. It's something. I do need to reach the threshold of success here in terms of actually going to the Divinity at 200 shards. I think the Purge Stone probably just goes into this Ice Storm, which is not, now not getting upgraded in any meaningful fashion. Right, this card is just dead. I held on to it just in case there was a 10 in Piercing or 30 plus 30 magic power here, and we didn't see it, so let's get rid of it instead. And now I need to Pact... Self-infused drag, I think. Jack strips. How desperate am I? That's a question. That is indeed a question for me. I don't know if I want third lady of the house. I think rector tanking is kind of a nice touch. How do what's the easiest way of getting to 200 and not be dead? I think. I want to self-infuse the dregs and dupe the siren song so I can play top floor pretty re reliably here. Yeah, okay, We that is a removal. I think the dupe here is actually the siren song. You can do a lot of damage with this. This represents potentially 12 days on a guy, so that's cool. You get two of these on the same turn and you play all of them. Elevator a guy and then blast him. I'm gonna do that. 215 is a reasonable point to be at. Now I have a bajillion dollars. So what that tells me is that I should just play stuff, right? Take things. Mike, I could remove what? Two dregs, I suppose, at this point. I have a lot of removals I could get rid of. There's not a lot of cards left in my deck, admittedly. We could cut the Ice Tornado if we want to. It's actually not terrible. It has a Tenon Piercing in it. We'll for sure keep it. If it hits a backline ever, we're going to be very happy about that. I'm going to take Flicker's Liquor because I might as well. Jack Strips and Mole Braces kind of suck. Fade's First Blade? Yeah, damage. All right. I'm going to take Pyre Wall here, probably. Am I? Yes, it is health, right? It's health. Sure, we'll grab it. I could also take Light's Gift, which is honestly pretty decent. It gives an extra daze if I ascend things. Yeah, all right, fine. Even though I have the quick, it's kind of whatever. 
A free Relentless round? Sure, we'll take it. I'm fine with that. We have so few cards in our deck, I don't really care that much. I'll put a plus 10 in one of these dregs just in case just in case it ever does anything. All right, I mean, 45 minutes in, and I think we're doing okay. 215 out of 100. It's a train wreck for sure, but let's go, Chased. All right, fair enough. I've got ridiculous amounts of days. I am hoping for the best. Sure. Lady of the House upstairs, play it all out. Drake can go middle. He dies, but I kind of don't care that much. Fade's first blade, definitely helping. Though we do have to worry about the whole issue of... Oh, I'm going to clear this 30 lifesteal right away, buddy. Get out of here. Absolutely. I actually think there's a much better play here in the form of Siren Song spell chain. Fully send this man and do a bunch of damage to him. We'll play the molded to bring back something. It Sack it downstairs. And chill. Yeah, I'm okay with this, right? He's gonna keep cutting my rage and it's going to suck a fair bit, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and Ice Empire this turn. Valuable, it clears the whole floor. I'm gonna play in the Dreg because obviously. We clear the wave, which is actually great. So let's Crystalline Seeds downstairs and clear out an enemy. I'm going to hold the molded, I think. Bring back Mr. Other Dreg that will get completely blown up. And we chill. I'm going to let Rector die here so I can Wicked Blaze him, I think. Sure. Seems good. Okay, they cut my rage again. Big bummer. I'm going to Wicked Blaze back Rector here. Drop him in. Frozen Lance. Play out the Ice Storm. It's gone now. I'm going to click the Molded. My goal is to get Chased to clear out one of my other floors. So... Yeah, we're doing alright. Maybe he'll get rid of Rage on mid-floor now. Incredible. Thank you, buddy. Amazing job. Now, I think we want a Resin Removal middle to get rid of that regen. I am going to Frozen Lance here, maybe? Molded does nothing. I think we definitely want to... This is 100% our Hallow Dripping's turn. I don't want to lose this Rage on the middle guy. Yeah, for sure we go in on this. It's fine. We can Frozen Lance and consume it middle. I don't think I actually play the Siren Song here. I would like very much to hit, which is fine. It's a good turn. I think Chase comes upstairs and cuts things, which is annoying. Very annoying. Crystalline Seeds upstairs is fine. I actually think it's Ice Tornado if I can hit with it, right? Yeah, hitting any of them is big win. I'm going to go ahead and click the Wicked Blaze as well. I'm going to play the Dreg middle. The nice thing about this, this guy actually does hit something. Which is very powerful, because I think he has to go middle now to cut this. Yes, he doesn't cut my Rage again, which is amazing. Okay, I actually feel much stronger about our position from this area. Yeah, cool. Good. We're generating rage that is sticking into Relentless in a meaningful way. So I think we're good, right? I can Crystalline Seeds the boss, absolutely. That card is actually not bad. Top floor, we're doing excellent work. I don't really need to hold over the Molded, but I guess I can. I'll play the Wicked Blaze instead. Get it, bud. It's fine, he doesn't get it, and I'm not mad about it. At this point, I'm just using... I, I think we actually super win this, thanks to... Yeah, everything else. We clear mid guy here, which is awesome. And we chill on the rest of these cards. I think we take it. Incredible. We absolutely take it. Good job. Yeah, it's just enough damage. And so even though they attack, Harvest Rector has enough stats to win the Relentless play. So that's good. Now I think... 
What is this? Shard of Divinity? Hell yeah, give me that. 100%. I was going to take blank pages, actually, because I'd have good reform targets in the form of heroes. But this is also fine. And Divinity we beat because I'm going to spam Siren Song on his face. That's the plan. Okay, so sack the drag upstairs. Then we play the lady. Then we play the rector. And then I guess we... Well, Frozen Lands downstairs make some progress here and chill. I'm basically hoping that I draw both Siren Songs. Yeah, okay, great. I was basically just going to say to myself, I hope I draw both Siren Songs right now. And I did. We're going to click Siren Song, Siren Song. I would like a Dreg to get in, which connects with one of the Siren Songs. That's 12 days out of the gate, which is pretty awesome. I'm going to save the Ice Empire for a better turn, I think. It's a really good 12 days turn right there. It's pretty much exactly what I was hoping to see. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm pleased with this, I think. I'm going to save this Ice Empire. I do think I can get more value out of it eventually. I will Wicked Blaze back the dreg here and just sacrifice it. Yeah. Multi-striking dreg proving very important to the run. We're clearing this whole floor, which is excellent. I can then, therefore, Frozen Lance downstairs to clear out an enemy, which is great. I'm going to let Rector pass away here, I think. I mean, the 22 Rage, what if I just held on to the 22 Rage instead, yeah? No, I'm going to let it go, I think. Crystalline Seeds, Sacrifice of Dreg. Okay, we're going to let Rector go. This is a Burnout Extender for him. Okay. Molded off floor. We do need Rector back, I think. Drop him in. The nice thing is he gets a double dip because of the Mark of an Exile. I'm going to go ahead and Resin Removal upstairs. Because that clears a lot of bad stuff out. Saves the Ember Drain, etc. I'm going to Ice Tornado middle. Yes, it hits the Spikes guy. It's incredible. We're going to save the Hallow Drippings for a turn where I do not have an incanter on the floor. Okay. Incredible news. Now I think the most important thing we could do is hollow drippings here. 100%. I'm going to crystalline seeds downstairs, but I think our play is to bring back some goons first. See what they hit. Yeah, sure. Wicked blaze. Let's go. Bring back the other guy. Cool, everything is free. I wish to play Crystalline Seeds because if I draw it again, it actually kills the Silent Marksman. I am okay leaving the Ice Empire in. Save it for a better turn. We could redraw it immediately, which would actually be very powerful into the Protector. Our goal here is to be strong enough to actually kill this mini boss, which, you know, I think we actually get there. We do, incredibly. Amazing. Mold back a guy. It's fine. Cool. I'm going to click the ice tornado upstairs. All it has to do is hit once in front and we're chilling. And, you know, I suppose there is this moment here where I can... I could play 12 days here. Let me run the math on this, actually. If I put this guy upstairs with 13 days and I'm doing, what, 40 damage? He takes 520. He then attacks me... Wow, that's actually kind of sad. <laughs> 13 turns he takes. I cannot believe that. 520, yeah. So 690 health minus 520, 170, which means he attacks me five times and he does 120 damage to me. That's not worth the trade here. As much as I would love the double siren song on this, it's not worth the trade. This guy simply hits too hard. I wish to kill him instead. Okay, fine. Eight days is still enough for now. Maybe I'll have another draw later that lets me get through it. Molded. Okay, bring back Super Dragman. He's chilling. He's doing excellent. 
I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to the Wicked Blaze so I don't redraw it, I don't think. I'm gonna play the Crystalline Seeds middle. It guarantees that the Conduit Redirector does pass away if, if I don't have enough hits. But we're looking okay otherwise, right? We have enough hits on the floor that we're getting through these. So that's pretty good. I think this is my Siren Song, being honest with you. I get only the one Siren Song here, sadly. But when you look at the numbers, I think they are Extremo dead. I think you start with the Resin Removal. And then we're going to Ice Empire away one of these guys. This floor doesn't look so bad now, right? You Siren Song him. They go up. The highest health one is 234. 234 divided by 40. I mean, he takes six hits, but he walks up with a lot of days. I think most importantly, getting this play out is... I think it's necessary, right? I take 28. You know, that's weird. He got the... They got the spikes back. Strange. So the nice thing is I'm happy to take this 28 to the Divine... To Shard of Divinity to get up to 12 days here on the boss. I think that is an excellent choice, in my opinion. One day, these dregs may attack. It's not this day, though. I'll tell you that much. It's not this day. That's a very good turn. I think that seals Relentless for me. Now I just need to not lose the run otherwise. Yeah, we clear the mini-boss. Don't do something stupid here. And... Cool. I think it's really this simple. Good job. Monster train. I think Rector 1v1s at this point, even in the best, even in the worst case. We get it. Amazing. Amazing. We did it. Excellent work, team. I guess this was stronger than anyone thought. I don't know what to tell ya. I guess it was actually pretty good. I mean, we had the pieces, and we won with a small deck. I didn't end up drafting all that much. Pretty powerful, actually. And it's 57 minutes, and we're walking to run summary, so... Okay. Hey, fair enough. This is a very strange run that was basically hand, hand positioned to me by Capricious Reflection. It essentially was just like, hey, man, here's a Lady of the Reformed, or here's a Lady of the House... You got a multi-strike in a shop? Have a good one. Go to the run summary. I mean, we could have actually gotten even stronger, but let me be clear. Multi-striking dreg is pretty big, big, big brain here. I also don't hate the plus 25 on this guy because it's very likely he could have gotten attacked once by the divinity. Obviously, draw orders were in our favor. We saw the in the we saw these spell chain siren songs before we actually had to play the dreg. Good turn there, but. But yeah, I think the leaning into the Siren Song here was necessary for Divinity. I don't think we win otherwise. He sweeps us out in kind of an unbelievable fashion. And we're constantly on the back foot trying to reform. This, however, enables us to get so many turns. Just so many turns. And then that other turn where I managed to play this again was just gravy, right? We ended up with like nine turns of days or something ridiculous on the boss. So, And we just sacked 28 health or whatever it was on the Shard of Divinity. So pretty cool. Calm and collected. I love it. Otherwise, big shout out to Memorial Fund. I ate 20 damage on Ring 2 to take a little more money. And I think it was honestly might have mattered because I was spending more money early on. So there's that. But a lot of good choices along the way. The random multi-strike paraffin enforcer set up here. Always good. Big fan. And yeah. I was desperately looking for cards that would do anything for me throughout the run. But that's because all of our starters kind of didn't do much. We had... I bet I mean, straight up. Capricious gave me holdover molded. Incredible. I didn't even need to look for it. And we saw quick on the lady, which was huge. Excellent. Hollow Drippings ended up paying out having that double stack. I mean, the spell chain. Same idea, right? Exact same card here, pretty much. Just double incants. I think Crystalline Seeds maybe wasn't hugely impactful, but it did kill some guys on Seraph, which I think was nice. So that's good. And then big shout out, as always, to Resin Removal. This card is nuts. 
in the in the 200 shard meta this card is nuts i think it's it's just as good in the 100 shard meta the difference is that it is less impactful it still matters it's still great but at 200 shards you're dealing with massive stacks of buffs and clearing them out is just huge so there's that yeah I don't really have terribly much else to add. This is a very weird but straightforward run. It was very fast. 52 minutes for me is unreal, especially because that's 52 minutes with me talking. This would have been a like a 15 minute run for me if I were playing it on mobile. So, but yeah, also a big shout out to Fade's First Blade, which did actually significantly increase our scaling overall. So that was very nice. This represents something like 25 rage in the end, which is great. So Huge shout out to that. But yeah, I suppose I will let you go there. We take the W. Thank you, Rector, for big burnout slam. And yeah, so hey, thanks a lot for watching this. I really appreciate your time. As always, you can give the video a like if you want. You can subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. And stay tuned for what's next. Take care, folks.